There's too much sadness, you know, everywhere. Sadness. If I pray, heaven go hear my name, oh. Heaven go hear my name, oh. If I pray, nothing go hear. So, um, I was scrolling through my news feed and I was looking through all the slave trade in Libya fiesta going on and um, I would say it really really hit home for me and I know it hit home for a lot of people but it really really hit home for me in the sense that this is the sole reason why I'm in school. This is why I'm striving to get an education because I want to be involved in things like this. When I say involved, my dream job is to work for the UN, the United Nations, and my dream started out because I wanted to help women and children back in Africa. Slave trade was the last thing on my mind that was ever going to come up in 2017 and to see this like resurface is just mind-blowing and absurd however I would say that I am NOT that surprised and the reason why I say this is because not too long ago we had Boko Haram in Nigeria. We still have Boko Haram in Nigeria. Um, over 200 girls were kidnapped from their school and were held captive for years before some of them were finally released. Some were sold. Some probably died trying to escape. A lot of them were injured. So when I heard about this slave trade, I was surprised because it happened in 2017. But the whole idea did not it, it did not surprise me at all. And I feel like this should be a wake up call. Yeah, it's good to post it on social media, spread awareness. We want people to know that this is going on. But as young people, as youths, I think it's very important for us to think long term. I think it's important for us to start thinking of political positions, politi political roles that we want to take when we get an education or when we we're done trying to figure out our lives or whatever you're doing right now. But I think it's important for some of our youths to, excuse me, I think it's important for some of our youths to think about how they're gonna stop this from ever resurfacing again. Like, okay, we can post on social media all day, but what is the hands-on thing that we're going to do to make sure slavery doesn't resurface again? Kidnapping does not resurface again. Like, there are places where they sell body parts of people in Africa. So, this whole slave trade thing does not surprise me. And I just feel like this is a wake-up call. This should be our wake-up call. I'm not saying everybody should think of political positions, but I'm saying very soon the world is going to be in our hands. We're going to be in charge of ruling it, making sure that everything is going the way it's supposed to. Like, you cannot be in a whole different continent or country and not care about your heritage, where you come from. You say, oh, I don't live in Nigeria, so 
um, I don't really have to do anything for them. Or I don't live in Ghana, I don't really have to do anything for them. Like, there's so many people back home suffering. Like, our, our economy is going down the drain. And I just think that this should be a wake up call. There's so many things going on. There's so many things beneath the surface that nobody even knows. I'm sure of it. We just thank God that this slave trade thing was brought to light. But there might be so many other things going on that nobody knows about. So I think we should start thinking about how we're going to go back home and make changes. If you're not going to go back home, how are you going to make changes from here? We should want to make policies, make laws, make rules and regulations. This should be our wake-up call. And it's sad. Thinking about it. Sorry. I was not going to cry. I did not want to cry. But thinking about this whole thing is sad. But we can't just sit down and cry or sit down and make Instagram posts, sit down and make Snapchat posts about it. Think, what are we going to do to actually stop this? Is our Instagram post going to make policy cha policies change? Is our Instagram post going to make the president of Libya or the ruler like um, put a stop to this. What can we do? And I was like, I have a platform, a little platform right here. So I was like, okay, let me just share this with you guys. But I think it's, it's time for us to like start thinking about this because in about, I mean, not even that long, I think the time is now to take control before everything goes downhill and we can't recover it no more. So it's better to attack it now, attack, attack the real issue. What is the real issue? Is that our leaders, policies, what is the real issue? Youths, I think it's time to wake up before the place we call home is it's nowhere to be found. It doesn't exist anymore. <sighs> this got so emotional, but thank you guys for watching. Um, please like this video, or it's not even about that. It's just about like, I really hope you got something from this video and you're going to think about what you need to do to make a difference. Thank you and um, subscribe. Um, more videos coming soon. Thank you guys. Love you guys. Thanks for all the support. Bye.